just go. Let's get rid of that. We can do this. Thank you very much. We'll go out full speed. Full speed ahead, please. Not that high. Not that high. Not that high. Not that high. Well, cool. Come back. Welcome back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. That's quick, wasn't it? I was trying to show you the uh, Cobra Mark III there in all its uh, ray traced. It's not ray traced, is it? Uh, in all its. Hello, how are you doing? So, with our deleted commander, we have now made the jump, ladies and gentlemen, to the Sidewinder Mark III. The Sidewinder Mark III, what am I talking about? The Cobra Mark III. Now this, as you can see, we are in a, a high-tech shipyard. They've got a load of ships here, don't get me wrong. They've got a load of ships. They don't have, which should be in between the Viper and the Diamondback, what they don't have is the Cobra Mark III. Now this caught me out before when I was doing my previous video and it took me frippin' ages to sort it out. If we just change the map, if we pop into the map and look at um, uh, Allegiance, there we go. Now, oh, we're near Van Manstar. That'd be kind of cool to go and see Antower City. Now, we're sort of near enough. Um, Sol, Sol will be around here somewhere. Where would it be? Somewhere. There it is. Look, there's our, 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 our home. Our home, our home ourselves. Where are you there, Sol? There you are, Saul. Now, obviously, we can't go there um, because it is a permit-locked planet, I believe. Maybe I can go there with this character. Actually, maybe I can. I think the way I... Um, yeah, I think I can, actually. That's cool. We might go and visit Saul because it's quite interesting. The state is civil unrest. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah. Anyway, right, so... The important thing, what I wanted to tell you about, where are we? We're down there. So let's get down. What, what? In order to buy a Cobra Mark III, you need to go to essentially you need to go to an independent place with a shipyard. I bought mine in Epsilon Arandi. Then I had. Then you have to find a. a um, oh look, the state is outbreak. It's interesting, isn't it? What's going on around here? Civil Liberty. Boom in old Van Man star. Um, so I bought mine in Epsilon Arandi. Okay, so that's that's all you need to know. If you're close to the start region, which is here, it's not too far away. Do you know what? You could probably find one in one of these other yellow independent places. So all these orange markers are the start systems where we started. But it's not a long jump over to Sol anyway, and, uh, and to have a look at where we are. Uh, anyway, so then I came to TZ Arietis, Arietis, which is a high-tech refinery. Quite a lot of population, 63 million, which is fairly decent size. And it's in Boom, which is very important. We didn't want to click that button. I keep doing that. I always assume Escape is going to take me back to uh, this screen here. So, the Cobra Mark III. Now, this ship is going to be your ship that you're going to use for a, a severely long time. Um, okay, that's what I'm saying. Select vehicle. Yes, I'm selecting the Cobra Mark III. No? Livery's not working? Okay. Boop. Wow, there's something. Okay, so I had to use the space bar back please wow this is weird having to use the spacebar not the mouse the mouse isn't working okay 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 game however you want to do it I don't care now we have to pay for those which we don't want to do what should we have Russian well, I think we go German let's go with Gerhard Gerhard Paint job. Have we got any paint jobs? Oh, we do. We do. We do. Look at these cool paint jobs, man. Mercenary. Desert. That's a good one to have in space. 
Frontier 25. It looks horrific. Horizons Lunar. Polar. And Acrobat. Uh, Midnight Black. Thank you. We'll have that. So we have, we have Midnight Black. Look at the state of that. That looks epic. Do we have any bobble tail things? I've got to get rid of this. Oh, look, we do. We actually have a snowman and a weird thing. Well, how do we get those? Who cares? Uh, the Right, get out of this now, because this that is horrible that I can't use the mouse in there. There's something bizarre going on, because I can bloody use the mouse here. So the first thing you do is find a high-tech um, system. All we've done is put on some gimbaled uh, multi cannons at the top and gimbal burst lasers at the bottom. As you can see, our power is bunked. If we actually deploy our stuff, the ship will turn itself off, uh, which is useful. Uh, we have a chaff launcher underneath and a point defense underneath just for um, getting rid of the gimbals and also for getting rid of missiles if we can. Now, as I said, we're going to keep it, we're going to stay in this ship for some time. Uh, let's look at the core, the core internals. Now, where I was previously, I was able to upgrade the sensors from E to D. And all that does is reduces the weight there. You can see five tons to two, uh, which you want to do because it helps your um, your jump speed. Look at that. Di the difference there is negligible. Um, when you start putting these up, you, you on this type of ship, you're not going to need really good sensors. To, you know it's just not needed so the first thing you do is put your sensors to D and then you put your life support to D as well which gives you a little bit of extra time gives you seven and a half minutes instead of five but the main thing is it changes the weight the weight comes down now one thing I did do is put a 3a power distributor on it and if we actually go in and have a look at these it was 160 grand now, things that are 3As are going to be 160 grand. Things that are 4As are going to be 1.6 million. And we have a couple of four level things power plant thrusters and FSD, to name three. So I'd already changed the thrusters to 4D as well. Let's just see how much 1.6 mil to get, the, to get the good stuff. Now, as you can see, all of our power is totally balked. So. I'm going to have to change that immediately. What power can we get? Okay. I'm going to have to go to the sea and spend the money because otherwise we can't actually run anything. So you're going to need, in order to kit this out properly, you're probably going to need around about 161616, which is four and a half, five mil, probably six or seven million credits. In order to make this uh, what you want it to be now hopefully we can upgrade the FSD somewhat four tons well, to be fair it makes much more sense to go big and get that sell the exchange it cost us a hundred and thirty gabillion quid we've got 17 grand 17 grand but we can jump considerably further uh, and that is really important um, whilst we do our little bits of trading which we're doing so I've got it set out here with again the, the shield in order to put that up it's going to be 1.6 mil where is our shield cell generators 1.6 mil for the shield as well so I think you're looking at 10 grand 10 10 grand 10 10 years 10 million credits to kit this ship out properly is it worth that before you go to an asp explorer or something else probably because you can spend a long time in this ship so as you see all i've done is i've i've just smashed it out with cargo 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 happy days cargo advanced docking computer but what i will do now is i'll probably get rid of one of these for an FSD, which we will, we probably don't need it just yet for a fuel scoop, sorry. But at some point, I will want that fuel scoop. So I need 290 grand for that fuel scoop. It's not necessary at the minute because we're not going on huge distances. So at the minute, all I'm, I'm happy that all we're going to be doing uh, is what we're doing. Okay. So that's how you get yourself 
set up. You're going to need 10 million credits to get an A-rated Cobra Mark III, pretty much. But this ship is fantastic. It is seriously fantastic. Uh, we don't have any stored modules. So once you have your ship, what you start to do is do a little bit of trade-in, isn't it? A little bit of trade-in. Now, what do we buy? What do we buy? Actually, do you know what? It's probably easier just to look at the missions and see what we've got. What we've got on board with our 17 grand. Wow, that seems so low. Because it is so low. Okay, we've got a nice, easy courier job. 34 grand going to Stein 2051. Uh, another courier job going to Wise. So if we just look through the board, let's see if there are any other things going there. I like the look of that. Disable the mega ship turrets, but that's a lot more. Deliver two to Epsilon on the planet. That's a bit of a pain. Uh, secure at Ross 61. That's a nice, easy delivery. What else we got? Deliver here to Lung. 20. Do you know what? That's not bad. 200 grand going to Lung. We could definitely do that for 200 grand. That's worth it, I would suggest. Okay. I say we take that. We're going to Lung. Collect items. Ding. Got them. Don't forget to pick up your items. Right, anybody else going to Lung? Anybody want to go to Lung? I'm going to Lung. Anybody? Lung? I don't think there are any Lungs up here. New Lung. Okay, so let's find out where Lung is. I don't think it's too far away. Uh, that exclamation mark is just telling you that you need to pick up your um, your cargo. Let's just double double check that we have it. Synthetic meat. What is this? Meat that is synthesized. Okay. Now lung shouldn't be too far away. Let's have a little check on our mission board. Target the lung. And let's go. Now this ship, guys, is just great. It's super quick. It's really maneuverable, especially when you get proper decent thrusters on it, when you get A-rated thrusters on it. It is just beautiful. Is it auto doing? It is auto doing. Okay, I'm gonna take over. I'm gonna take over. We're gonna get out of here. It's great. It really is good fun, this ship. It sort of sounds good as well. Okay, let's get... Yeah, look at that boost speed. That boost speed is pretty much up there, and that isn't even a full... Boost up to 408. 408 mega boost. It's a beautiful little ship. It's got really good... Um, sort of lateral thrusters as well the sort of lefty righty and the vertical ones up and down it's cool it's a good ship and if you want to forego your um your shield you can get it quite a high amount of cargo i think our cargo is 32 is it what is our what is our cargo 42 holy schmaloco we are a cargo hauler uh, and that is more than you can actually get in a hauler anyway so you know why you would get into a hauler who blibberdon knows long is here ladies and gentlemen let's just see if we oh we can okay let's see what we got icy bodies rocky bodies acid bodies let's just do this one gas giants where's the gas giants behind the planet great is everything behind the planet no there's one there the only reason why I'm doing this is because gas giants actually will give you a decent a decent amount of um, exploration. Um, there is one more. So will the uh, high metal contents as well. Well, they give you a little bit. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Lung three. Locations five human locations. I find this fairly interesting, to be honest. Coming in here and having a little look around at, at, at what's going on. Uh, we got another... We got another high metal. 
diddly diddly diddly, behind the curtain. Okay, so let's get around Lung. We'll just nip around it. We're going to have to probably land on... Oh, we do have to land on one of those projects. I wonder if Lung 3 is actually where we need to go. Who knows? Who knows? Let's just get away from the start, slow down, and get back into the FSS. Um, now, what are we looking for here? Let's just do these ones. As I said, they're just worth doing because then when you come back somewhere else, you can sell these, which is what you want to do. In we go. There we go. Have you? Oh, here we go. Look. Geological likely. Refining the scan. So up, at the, up there in the top right corner, that's where you look at if you want to see if there are any potential sort of features on each planet, like, um, you know, geysers, ice geysers, all sorts of various different things that can be so there are 24 geological features on lung 2 so we can have a look at that when we um, get into the correct Ooh, do we want to go in here look at these places I thought, I thought somebody was attacking me then but they're not these are just sort of little moons that's no moon well it is actually it is a moon so Come on, in we go. These are also worth a little bit of data, so that's the only reason why I'm doing it. We've done 12 out of 8. Let's come back out. We can't have too many. There is another one of those somewhere. Where is it? Usually, they follow these scan lines, which is what you want to do. Let's get the um, let's get the big boy first. Why not? Where is he? There he is. Gas giant. Pretty unimpressive looking gas giant, to be fair, but... He is a gas giant nonetheless. Now, the only other thing we've got is a couple of these. Let's double scan in. There's one. Lung 6E. Tiny little moon of nothing. Uh, where's the next one? In here. Quite a few. There's one. A little icy body. So these are just the moons of the other planets. To commerce, see, it's, there is quite a lot of information around these places when you when you actually go and have a look. It's quite interesting. Okay, there we go. It tells us that the full system scan has been completed. Thank you very much. Let's get out of here and see which one of these planets. I, I bet it is three. It is three. We need to go to Picard Plant. Picard Plant. Now it's probably worthwhile. As a belt and braces thing, it's worthwhile sometimes to land at the um, orbiting station just in case something goes wrong. Which it usually doesn't, obviously, but just in case something does go wrong. If you land here first, if you do die, then you will be reincarnated much closer to your destination than um, if you didn't before. Not that it was far away, but you understand here recording the gravity well we're caught in the gravity well so when you do that when you realize that you're gonna overshoot just pull down and just don't aim directly at the place but this is this this ship is beautiful it really is let's get a little bit of trade data a little scan data please any scan data yes what do we get? Unidentified scan archives. Well, thanks very much, mate. Let's get into... Now, the reason why you target those ships, obviously, is just to keep improving the amount of data that you get. Uh, you will need ship scan data like that, the shield data, in order to um, engineer your own shields uh, when you come to do such things. We will do that soon. It's good that we can get to Sol, though. I think I'll do a little, a little home planet, uh, Earthy flyby. Maybe you know what I mean. I think you do. Okay, let's get into Hopkins Landing, and then we'll get down on the planet. It looks like a fairly interesting. No, it doesn't. Planet. It just looks like a planet, doesn't it? it just looks like a. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Can you hear all the children outside screaming their heads off? Great. People laugh as well. They find it funny. They find it funny. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Right, let's get here. Get docked. Let's get him lined up so then we can put the auto dock on and he can have a little. Actually, should we just dock ourselves? I've come in a little bit weird here. But still, my weird is. is, is good. Yeah, look at that. It's a cool ship. It's really maneuverable. We're on the dark side of the moon. Hey, it looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah, well, we're not going to water dock now, are we? Because 44, where is it? It's at the end there, ladies and gentlemen. It's at the end. We'll do a little spin around, like a little beauty. And then we'll come in here. Let's try and work out how quick we're going. Too quick. And then if we stop, about there, it should slow us down. Over it. We've overshot. Hey, but look at that. The auto docks took us back. <laughs> That's cool. Down we come. Beep, 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 beep. Okay. Now, all we're doing here, don't forget, is nothing. We are just sitting here. Now, we do have some commodities. We are going down to a planet surface, so what could be used on a planet surface? What use these? What does use these things? Uh, I'm not so sure. What do they use down on the do you know what? I think surface stabilizers. Why isn't it telling me what these things are? Usually it would tell me what they are. Okay. I don't care. I'm going to buy 21 surface stabilizers on the vain hope that when I sell them down on the planet, they're going to be sold at a profit. And that's all we're doing here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get the heck out of Dodge. Actually find where we're going to pick our plant. Engage. Exactly. Exactly. It's that. It's that good. Right, let's go. Let's get rid of that. We can do this. Thank you very much. We'll go out full speed. Full speed ahead, please. Not that high. Not that high. Not that high. Not that high. What the hell is happening now? <laughs> the auto, <laughs> the auto launch has taken over because I smashed the ship into the side of the station. Okay, fine. Now we will take. There's something. There's something going awry here. I'm not. I'm not sure. There's something not quite right here. There's something going wrong with my. <laughs> With my mouse. Did you see what was going on then? Something weird was happening. Was there a key that was pressed down for too much? I have no idea what the frick was going on then. But as soon as I took mouse control, the ship just went wow. That was very, very strange. Anyway, the shields are back on, which is useful. Let's go. Down on. See, that's better. I can move this. There was something extremely strange happening there. That's not what you want as you take out take out your, uh, your spaceship from a space station. It's not, uh, not the way. It's not the way. Okay, so easiest way I always find is to do these upside down. Let's just see what that message is saying. Incoming enemy. We get... An extra load of money if we kill the enemies. Interesting. Oh, interdiction. Okay, let's do it. Okay. I've already put submission. What is it doing? Something is not quite right here. I tell you. Oh, 
What is going on? Well, there you go. There's something not quite right happening there. Nothing was working. <laughs> what has just happened? I don't know what's going on. But I've been killed by towels of flat paws. Which should not happen. Creditor's loan. We're going to have to get a loan out. But at least we are in Hopkins uh, Landing. However, what's happened now is that our mission has failed. Has it? Yeah, because we don't have any of the uh, any of the goods. So we will have to abandon that because we've lost all the product. Now we've got a fine of 11 grand. What the hell is happening here? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the Cobra Mark III, your favorite ship. <laughs> your favorite ship in the world. I need to work out what else was running on my computer to make this thing not do what it's doing. Usually I turn all other programs off, but I obviously haven't. Uh, so we're in some real pretty shit now. Okay. At least we have a black ship. Until next time. Wie geht's? Gut, danke. Und du? Auf Wiedersehen.